Hey people, we had a power failure in Delhi yesterday. So for the first time since I had the generator hookup installed in 2003 when I had the electric upgraded, um, I figured I'd put it up and you know see how it works under real conditions because everything else had been under test conditions and sometimes I use it outside um, over by the shed if I have to fill tires or something so that I don't have to um, run long extension cords for the compressor. Anyway, so I, I figured it, on one of the threads in Facebook, my buddy Joe mentioned that he was thinking about it, and you know how to, that is. We think about doing these things and um, don't get around to it until after it's too late. I need this to run the pumps in the basement, and um, you know, you never know when you're going to have a power failure or whatever. First year I was here, the power was off for six days, which is why I decided to have this hookup done when I was upgrading the electric. And, uh, you know, fortunately I haven't had to use it that much, but it's here if I need it. One cautionary note, um, as I found out yesterday, that when the garage burned down that used to stand right there, um, it had some of its electric went right to the mudroom over here, and the switches, um, you know, kind of ran back and forth. So when everything got rewired, there's a few things now, like the freezer in the mudroom here, that's not on the generator because of the rewiring that took place since 2003. So that's something I have to get fixed and, you know, actually, I guess, run off the gen and actually label everything that needs to be redone so that I have, you know, the wood stove blower and the furnace is on there and one of the pumps is on there, but not, not all of them. But I would be able to get by because I could always run an extension cord if I have to. Um, the router wasn't on there yesterday, but I just ran an extension cord behind the dog box to the kitchen. and That was no problem. I was going to look for the brand name, which is not too important, but it's 8,000 8, watts, 8 kilowatt max. And um, I think it's got like, I thought it had a five gallon gas tank, but it looks bigger and it runs for, anyway, the, the, the details for what works for me might not be suitable for your needs. So. Um, you would talk to the electrician, find out what you need to run. If you're just going to run a refrigerator and a computer, I mean, you don't need even need 8,000 watts. You could use a little Honda and stick it outside and run an extension cord into the house. But um, this one has a plug on the side, on the other side. That there is what connects to the house by a cable. I got like four <coughs> 20 amp and 15 amp outlets on here and then I got that that connects to the cable. So this end of this cable connects <laughs> into the generator and this end connects into the house and the connection to the house is what I was showing at the beginning of the video. This little baby here. So like I say, I can only, I can only draw 30 amps. I keep hitting the zoom button on this damn camera because my hand rests on the top of it. I'm gonna have to, you know, start a new way to hold this thing because this is not good. I don't want to zoom all the time. Anyway, so it plugged into there and <coughs> sits out here and if there was a flood in progress the water wouldn't be too deep for it so it's good the bedroom the master bedroom is over in this section so I keep it far enough away from there that if I have to run it while somebody's sleeping it's not too disturbing and then the mud room is over here even if there's some fumes the kitchen door inside is closed so the fumes aren't a problem like running a pump from the basement can be because it sucks the fumes right into the house which isn't good so this is not a problem as far as that goes so um, this thing here connects to a se second panel an emergency panel and to use it all you have to do is throw the switch um, to take it off the grid so if, you, if, if you were able to, and they don't let you because I guess state law, it's pretty, in, you know, national thing that you can't leave, a, you can't feed power back into the grid because if a lineman is working somewhere, and presumably they are since you have no power, 
and you feed power back into the grid and somebody touches the wrong thing out on a pole or something um, somebody could get you know a worker person could get seriously injured so you flip the switch over and then you turn on your gen and then you you power up and I put gas in there once just to be safe yesterday I didn't even start with anything near a full tank and it ran from like 7 in the morning till 12 something in the afternoon so it does very good on gas and um, I mean I don't know the cost of anything these days what a gen would cost or um, what this kind of hookup here would cost but as far as I'm concerned especially for the sake of the pumps and heat in the winter and running the refrigerator if we had another six day blackout <coughs> I, I think for refrigerator and freezer I have a chest freezer I think it's well worth the investment um, just to be prepared that way and, um, so that's it so if you found this video helpful give me a thumbs up and if you didn't just post something in the comments anyway because I don't give a shit comments help no matter what they say and uh have a great weekend.